Hello, uh, my name is Brendan Bow, and you're very welcome to today's video presentation of 29 Manor Grove Grange Manor ovens. Enjoy the viewing. So welcome to number 29 Manor Grove. This is of course our entrance hall with flights to uh, upstairs to the first and second floor as this is a three-story house. Uh, this hallway gives access to the uh, kitchen dining room which we'll look at in just a few moments and here on the left is behind the door is a guest loo under the stairs. Uh, but have a look at the lounge. Great size, runs the complete width of the uh, main house. It of course has a uh, gas fire uh, but there is a real flue there, so options if someone wants a stove or wood burning fire, that's possible as well. But a very efficient fire system in there at the moment. And as I said, this is quite a good size. Uh, there is a door to the rear gardens, which I'll give you a peek out through in just a moment. Uh, but let me, and in fact, let's, uh, let's do that now. So great size uh, garden. You won't spend hours cutting it, but it's very pleasant. Great place to sit out and it is west facing. It's a little overcast here this evening, I'm afraid, uh, but it is west facing. So when the sun shines and you're at home in evening time, this is a great place to be uh, sit out in and uh, have a barbecue. Uh, but let's just have one last uh, look at the lounge before we show you the rest of the uh, uh, ground floor. So your next and only room downstairs is, of course, the kitchen dining room. Uh, it's a cream hand-painted kitchen with um, uh, light contrasting uh, wood top. Um, appliances include uh, fridge freezer, electric oven, four ring gas hob, which I know people love cooking on uh, in terms of the uh, gas. It's got an integrated dishwasher and washing machine. Um, and again, what I particularly like is the setting of this house. It's at the very end effectively, there's just one house uh, beyond it and looking out onto a green area. We'll show you that from upstairs. But let's give you one last look at the kitchen before we do head upstairs. So we are on the first floor uh, and on this floor we have the main family bathroom which has a family bath, a bathtub I should say, uh, with a shower attachment uh, overhead, a WC and of course a washing basin. Your airing cupboard is located in the bathroom as well and uh, our owners have chosen to go for a, a dark contrasting wooden floor but there is a ceramic tiled area all around the bath surround. We have a window for natural ventilation and of course a mechanical extractor as well and of course there is one further um, uh, bathroom uh, being the ensuite in the master bedroom. Just outside is bedroom number one and this really is a great guest room or kids room. It's a huge size um, uh, you're just getting a glimpse of it there so it uh, it slinks in all the way here and let's give you a look at the uh, back from this side so you can see large green field, fields area behind you and this is all west facing and you're getting a glimpse of from a slightly different more elevated perspective of the uh, of the gardens but let's have a look here so you wooden boards a great size nothing built nothing built in here this is all freestanding furniture so it uh, can be configured anyway one requires but quite a good size and because this is a three-story house there are only two bedrooms on the first floor and with the master occupying the entire top floor now the second bedroom on this floor um, has extensive built-in robes as you can see and um, certainly seems to be used as a dressing room it will take um, a double bed but probably more comfortable and suitable as a single room given the extensive robe uh, fittings that are in here but again uh, let's have a look at the view from the front quite a nice uh, setting in terms of again cul-de-sac and looking out onto the green area and Manor Grove is quite a nice uh, family and owner occupied uh, enclave here within Grange Manor. So just have a look at those robes they're quite extensive okay and um, so, so again, uh, could be used as a as a dressing robe if someone didn't have the need for this as a uh, as a bedroom, uh, but will take a bed uh, very comfortably uh, uh, in its uh, with 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 its proportions. That is. So let's pop upstairs and show you the master bedroom, and I really have kept the best to last. This is our master bedroom. It is occupying the entire top floor, so you can see. Wonderful wooden boards in great condition. 
uh, huge built-in robe and our ensuite, which I'll give you a better view of in just one moment. But let me pan around, a door's out to the top landing and a very nice dormer window looking out onto the front and your setting. Great, great space. Again, a very decent robe there. And whilst you're looking at that, we'll open up the door to the ensuite and you'll see quite a generous ensuite. Lots of natural light uh, flowing in, compliments of that Velux window. Uh, there's a shower here, a washing basin, and of course, a WC. But let's just have one last look at this room. And really, I'm not sure if this even camera work is giving you uh, a, a real feel for the size of it, but it's very, very generous. This will take any size furniture very, very comfortably. It is a very generous master bedroom. So thank you for looking around number 29 Manor Grove with us today. We hope you enjoy the viewing. If you would like to arrange your private viewing of this home, please contact our offices at 4879007 or alternatively at any time at balancolic at bow.ie and we'd be delighted to schedule a time to suit you. Bow Property do viewings six days a week, including outside of office hours. Thank you for watching.